We now return to Let's Play Tropico 2. Okay. We are on our way. And probably going to be a long and arduous thing. But we'll try. Try and get this done without rocking the boat. It really would be nice to be able to have these train up the same way you can get the priests to train up. And it even seems like the blacksmiths will train. So I don't really understand. Hearty. We've got enough gold to choke a whale. I really don't understand why more of them won't go do that. This been making me, I mean, lifetime it's been making me quite a bit of money, actually. So I do have to say, this turned out pretty well. Doesn't look like it's making a lot of money. That might actually explain why we lost as much as we did, of course. I, uh, I don't really have any say over what it's selling, but maybe... Maybe it was selling too much of my food. Okay, I think we pretty much stabilized it. About 62-63% satisfaction with those guys. And uh, everywhere else, we're just kind of scooting along. Curses. He's got money. You guys don't have any money, though, so maybe I should be a little bit more generous. This is building up. I don't know what the neighbors are doing out there. It's a little bit annoying. Well, you know what? Let's uh, let's just go ahead and start housing some of my people. I'll put it way out here, and many of them will probably not be terribly happy. Just because we're not going to have a lot of that is definitely not what I wanted. What are you doing? Um, just because there's not a lot of order out here, or anarchy, or fear, or anything that the pirates otherwise feed off of. Um, I'm probably not doing great things for this farm. To be honest, all right. Let's put a little bit of defense out here. this. No, yeah, that. That is Calico Jack. Oy! That is his pitiful, pitiful little hovel. I've tried to get my... I guess I don't have a sixth captain, do I? We'd better get one. That ship is about to be done. So, here we go. Oh, me, Timber. will be right, please. I know. You're about to have a ship. Just hold on. That's probably not the best place for that, really. I feel like I could maybe move that. Seeing as how I literally just built all over anywhere that it could have possibly planted. It is making money, though, or making food. Are we almost here yet. Yes, very, very close. 
That's what I think it's. We've got enough gold to choke a whale. The best. Best send the crews out again. And our new galleon, the Troubled Alligator. That is a lot of dudes. Give it a minute, and our forlorn captain should be heading over. Yep. And we've got very few, very few pirates. Uh, we will, of course, be generous. And now for you, I could have you maybe go toe to toe down here. A brand new pirate. I'd really rather not. I don't know. That's been explored briefly, so maybe maybe we'll get you down here to go look at it for a while. The crew is uh, well. Could be better. Let's get back into our disgruntled people here. Find you. Pause a moment so that I can welcome our newest member. Let this run again. There's got to be an easy way to do this. Aside from just coming in and just picking them. You know? Like, I would really hate to take all these people, all the, the skilled ones, but... I guess just because they, you know, I, I have not actually been looking like, like this one has a high escape risk, right? So, okay, you know what we'll do? We'll just say, grab some, and we will look. Now, I wish I could maybe look and see as I hover over who is a problem child. Well, we'll just randomly pick. Please, ah, I won't even let you pick a skilled one. Okay, this was something I did not know. Okay. Now we got a lot of pirates that need to uh, need to actually make it over to this. We'll see how well they they get over here. And I may just need to thin that out even more. Now I did not look at the wealthy. Uh-huh. Time to ransom you. Oh, you decided not to be, okay. Well we just got some new captives in. So that has filled up the crew. That is okay though. Again, excess pirates can go be supervisors and all that stuff. So maybe maybe I should focus a little bit on that. I could empty that out. Maybe I should take a few more. Why not? Can't take you. Probably shouldn't be taking the builders if I can help it. There's a lot of them, too. Surgeon, I mean, like, I'd rather not take some of the more valuable members. Just because I see that being a problem. 
Okay, we probably do not need... Probably do not need any more of this. And in fact, the few people that are here, I could probably fire, and then we don't have to even worry about it. Since they're not going to be doing anything else. You are almost ready to go. We just really need you to be... Where even is that building? This. We don't even have a pirate. It's overseeing it. We do have some food in stock, though. I do like that. But man, oh man. It is going to take forever to get them locked in. My stash could go up. Let's actually see if I can't maybe do that. If I can get it to to build up a lot. And then in fact... So January 60-50. So when I hit January 60-70, that should be the end of this. So when that happens, I will sell off or ransom all of my people, all of the wealthies. And we'll see. It will be Christmas for all of them. Probably not for the island, though. It'll probably hurt us a great deal because we are bilking them in my establishments. How these people even have their money here, I'm not really sure. Ooh, wow, look at that. I'm really not sure how we're getting money out of that, to be honest with you. It doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense. Well, I say we just keep going. It'll take them a minute to come back. You're on your first voyage. You can't actually go. You need... I'm hearty. We've got enough gold to choke a whale. You really do need to have the rations. Uh, I guess I could just buy some. We need 20. So that's going to build it up only for 140. All right, you can go too, and we will see how that works, because the French have got this one locked down pretty well. The more we attack this too, the bigger this is going to get. This is going to be really bad for me. I would not be surprised if this is a failed maiden voyage. Uh, this is thoroughly charted, well surveyed. Think Henry Morgan can actually handle a different location? Not so sure. Okay. We'll see here in a minute if this is actually... Hey, wait, we can actually just stash more money. How's that? Nope, it's not every thousand. So I'm not really what... Oh, we'd lost a couple people there. Morgan. Ooh, look at that. Everyone's losing money. Pretty sure these uh, were a little bit better. Maybe they weren't, actually. No, they weren't. Now that I think about it. So even these guys have been gaining money. Everyone coming back empty-handed. Well, you know, I mean, overall, uh, Anarchy still could be a little bit better over here. Got plenty of lumber that we can put down to increase some of the, the look of the thing. Build one of these over here. The amount of fear put out 
should be pretty good. This has really gone down, but again, because I pulled most of them into my crew. So did we get a lot of money out of this? I, don't, I wasn't even paying attention. No, because I didn't have anyone down there. I moved them. Of course not. Okay, the French are starting to build up a presence here a little get a little bit, but that's not. I don't know. I, I, should I be raiding this settlement? I don't want more farmers. That seemed to be the only thing I was gaining from that. It is October. Now, before we go too far here, let me pause, because there were some buildings here I wanted to try. Carpenter. Pig legs can be made here. Oh, okay. So I need a carpenter, a hatter, and a bird handler? Sure. I need a carpenter. That be a wise move, sir. I need a... bird handler. And I need a hatter. I just want to go and see. It's a little late in the game, literally, to be going out and doing that, but, you know. It is November. I do have some captives to get rid of, so let's do this and get rid of you. Do I really want to wipe out all of these? <sighs> yeah. I'm just curious to see how much money I had in here. A lot, apparently. I've been sitting on a gold mine. It's really been a resort at this point. What? You're going to tell me that's not I'm enough? Me hearty. We've got enough gold to choke a whale. Pirate happiness went down considerably. Probably because I just sent them right back out after they just got to port. I don't know about the natives, but the lads here are getting restless. Yeah, they need some port time, and I'm just... I'm taking away their shore leave, so that's why they're unhappy. Well, damn, I thought maybe I was going to get enough to build up my palace some more, but apparently not. Apparently not. I'll just wait a minute here. Has this even gone out yet? Because it's needing more rations. Okay, we got ourselves a carpenter. Now, by the look of the thing here, uh, we are not going to have much time... Oh my god! Okay, well, we hit it anyway. Um, yeah, if I close that, then it's going to close the window. So there's a few things I, I didn't do. Um, I completely forgot these were even here. That's uh, that's That's... Just a, a complaint I think I have for tropical games in general and why 
Uh, back in the day, I never played these games just because the interface was so overwhelming. There were just so many menus with so many options, and it just it was confusing. Uh, this in particular, I mean, I, I just could not remember what does that symbol even mean, and where would that building be? Because some of them don't really make a lot of sense. Um, so yeah, uh, that's uh, that's been Tropico 2. It's a very different game compared to other Tropicos. Uh, obviously, I think the developers made Tropico 1, thought, what else can we do with this? And then they sort of flipped the, the script and did Tropico 2. I don't know what the reviews or reception was to Tropico 2 uh, when it came out, but I think that it's pretty obvious they decided they were doing better with the whole uh, communist Caribbean dictator shtick, and so they went back to that in Tropico 3, uh, 4, 5, 6. So, uh, Tropico 6 had historical mode, right? You had the four eras, um, and you started out in colonial times, so it's kind of this this period, but I don't honestly remember anything remotely like this, like with the fleets and stuff. I, I think it still stayed very much true to the uh, economic simulator. Um, but this this was interesting. This was kind of fun. Um, it, it would be, I think, more interesting. Well, so like in Tropical 6, you, you did have the ability to make a pirate cove and uh, like your your commandos and all that stuff. So you can send them on missions. So a little bit of this does leak into that game. Again, I've never played 3, 4, or 5, so I don't know if those had anything related to this, but uh, definitely in Tropico 6, uh, this still sort of had a little bit of a shadow in, in that game. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I think I did myself and probably the series a little bit of a disservice by choosing some options that made the game too easy. Uh, the patronage, probably, if I just bumped it up so that we were just an independent nation, didn't have the immediate patronage, uh, that would probably have been a little bit more of a realistic start. Uh, like I said, in the campaign, you very rarely have a very good start. You, you spend a considerable amount of time having Smitty yell at you saying, we need this, we need that, uh, you know, your, your happiness will dip down to 40% before you actually build the infrastructure you need to finally get started. I mean, even even making money. Um, some of the, the later ones are pretty ridiculous. Like, you will run out of money before you're even ready to, to go unless you know what you're supposed to be building. Um, and, uh, you know, having things pretty much set up and ready to go also uh, contributes to that as well because... Uh, when you when you need more infrastructure, you need to build it, I guess, in sort of a, a way that makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, if you're not going to have a ship for a very long time, you need your pirates to be doing something. But the more money that, or more really lumber, lumber is the, the big issue, uh, being the, the primary resource early on. The more lumber you are using to build you know, wench huts and bars and that sort of thing, the less you have to save up to build a shipyard and a ship that would actually get the pirates off the the island and then they wouldn't be a problem anymore. So it is a little bit more uh, strategic in the, the campaign, I feel. But again, uh, that's really more just the conditions. They, I could have easily made the game exactly that same way. Uh, so this game took away Tropico 1's island modification. You really don't get the choice of what your island looks like. Uh, you can change things like, you know, how much water and all that stuff. So there, there is a little bit, uh, but there's nothing like the, the breadth and the hills and all that. And I think that's largely because it just doesn't matter to the mechanics of this game. You know, you don't have a huge variety of crops that rely on hills and mountains, and you don't have various types of ore, and so you're very limited in that choice, and even just in the buildings in general. Um, you, know, you, you are far more limited in this game than in Tropico 1, just because the focus is not on city building, or in this case, island building. It is very much building up the infrastructure so that you can have a team of pirates that you can send out and uh, you know set them to to where they need to go. Um, 
a, a few interesting things did pop up through this playthrough. Uh, obviously, the uh, the imbalance of taking on too many wealthy captives. Uh, good cash cows, but uh, you know then they they take up too many slots for your pirates, and then your pirates get unhappy. Uh, that was not something I anticipated because I uh, did not have that many captives in the campaign games that I played. Uh, but obviously, the the game anticipated that you would do that because they built a hotel. Like, where, where are these people going to stay? Well, there's a building specifically for that. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, but it, it also does reach a tipping point, and it really was probably around episode four, where now it doesn't matter so much. You know, now you're really just doing damage control. Um, you, you reach that point where what you've built is enough to be self-sustaining as long as you just sort of keep an eye on it, as long as you manage it. Um, there is a little bit of shuffle, but again, you, you know, I I did not really ever have a major crisis going on, and I still don't. My happiness from my pirates right now is abysmal, but I know why, and uh, so I just need to let the game run for a little bit and build it right back up. And in fact, building these would probably give them more avenues to spend money and also gain some happiness so you know I did not explore these buildings I kinda regret that because I don't know exactly what they do but um, yeah I don't know just overall I, I think that uh, they were successful in making a different type of game you know try, trying not to do the, uh, the formulaic just copy Tropico 1 thing um, they succeeded in making a different game. I mean, you could take Tropico off of this, you know, take take the name out of the title, and this would be a standalone game. And you you know, it doesn't have really any uh, relation whatsoever to the Tropico series. I mean, it, you could recognize it, but you'd recognize it in the same way that uh, you know, Command and Conquer and and Warcraft had similarities. You know what I mean? It, it, it it's more genre similarities than than anything. Um, but uh, at the same time, I can see why this was not the way they went, why this was uh, sort of a one-off oddball in, in the series, and they went back to uh, the theme and the city building, because, well, frankly, that's a little bit more interesting gameplay-wise. I, I could see myself going back to Tropico 1 someday, or wanting to do more games in the Tropico series. I honestly don't see myself ever coming back to this game, other than just having a nostalgia trip for uh, for pirates. In fact, it, it, I, again, I really recommend uh, listening to the soundtrack for this game. It, it's wonderful, um, but it did give me nostalgia for Monkey Island. Um, you know, Monkey Island was a game series that I played uh, well in my teenage years, I'll say, and. Um, I don't know. I just I just have uh, those memories of you know summer vacation. It's hot out, and then escaping to the the Caribbean via uh, video game through with Monkey Island and and that sort of thing. And so this game definitely fits into that. Um, so I, I I don't know. I just kind of if I was ever to do just a like a playthrough of pirate games, I would come back to this, but. Uh, other than other than that, other than just for the shits and giggles, really, of uh, doing something piratey, um, I just I, I I don't think the game is really uh, that replayable unless unless you're really into this. But you know where where Tropico kind of has a little bit more of the leeway in the city building where you can try something different or or the island is varied enough that it will change a little bit of how you play. I really can't see this being too different every time. And in fact, it's really not. Uh, the campaign is pretty... You're pretty much doing the same thing. Obviously, you've got different goals and, and time limits, but you're pretty much doing the same thing again and again and again. And uh, there is, there are scenarios. Uh, there, there's more than the campaign and the, um, the sandbox. You do have scenarios, which is basically sandbox with goals. But uh, again, you're just... You come into each one knowing what you need to build in the build order. Like th th this is a game where you do have the potential for a build order, and so when I see games like that, I I personally feel there's limited replayability because you're just painting by numbers again and again and again. 
but uh, maybe that's just me. Anyway, time to end the episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next Let's Play.